So the song Power Lock has just turned 25 years old this year, and I really did not like the song of Power Lock very much. And let me show you how I turned this into my most enjoyed carry multi-tool for the moment. Now, one of the things I've always admired about the song Power Lock, despite its lack of to some extent, is that it has the compound leverage system. And that is just fantastic. It's got a great set of crimpers at the bottom and the pliers come to a very narrow tip. And I was able to get some uh, splinters out of my daughter's hand because of that, because it's almost like a set of tweezers at the end. So I really like that as well. Now, one of the great letdowns to me of the SOG Power Lock was that it never had a quarter inch bit driver. Now, some of SOG's multi-tools now have a quarter inch driver on the end. It's better than nothing, but not a huge fan. Now, SOG did offer the adapter where you could put an adapter on their quarter inch socket and then tool and then use quarter inch bits in that. But I like to have a quarter inch bit in the tool itself, not have to carry an extra toolkit. So what I did was this. Now I have a quarter inch bit driver on board. And how I did this right here, so let's go ahead and pull this out right here. How I got a full quarter inch bit driver on board was actually fairly cheap and inexpensive. So what I did was I got one of these HX Outdoors multi-tools that I have. And there are so many Wave clones that I have. I have Byberry, I have Felissa, I have uh, all, all kinds. And so this HX Outdoors was not extremely different from all the rest and probably at the moment it's one of my least carried, though I do sort of like its tactical plier handle a little bit. But anyway, I wanted a black bit holder to go with this. And since these are pretty cheap to replace, I thought I could always buy another couple uh, even, you know, two or three to replace it. So I went ahead and I took out the bit holder and it actually came out fairly easy. You just go ahead and keep one backed up and unscrew the other side with the appropriate Torx driver. And then SOG makes it fairly easy to go ahead and take their handles apart as well. And this is not an extremely well-known fact about SOG, I don't think, but you can buy replacement tools still on their website. They're the only multi-tool manufacturer that does that at this time, and more people need to know about that. But anyway, so I went ahead and I removed several tools that were on the inside. And then what I can do is I can actually still fit the knife and then I can fit one other tool. So right now I have a screwdriver, but I plan to move this around. That's a screwdriver and the bottle cap lifter. And I was able to go ahead and lock this in place. So the, the width where the uh, pivot goes through, the pivot hole actually works. But the one issue you will have is that the locking system is too big for the SOG. So right there, you can see how large that is. And this right here is fairly small. So what I had to do was actually add an extra piece of metal right there. And I used JB Weld again, my good friend JB Weld. And I was able to lock this teeny piece of sheet metal in place. And for the moment, when I move this, it clicks into place and it actually holds pretty well. So I've used a screwdriver a little bit and it works pretty good. So I'm really happy to now have a quarter inch capability without having to spin an arm and a leg. So AliExpress is great for adding, they have mods that you can't buy anywhere else. Unfortunately, sometimes not even Shapeways, I don't think is making some of these mods. Now, some of them are shameless copies of Shapeways, unfortunately, but uh, so they are making, it seems like stuff that you can't buy anywhere else to some extent, but they don't have a quarter inch bit driver for SOG yet, I don't believe. So I was excited that this actually worked and became a possibility. Now, one of the things that I forgot to mention is that actually on the power lock, there is actually a groove in the back of the tools so that this lock can sit all the way down. And that's one of the things I didn't realize to begin with 
on my bit driver. And so what I did was I actually made a couple grooves so that this log can sit down all the way. So you can see right there, it's up and then I've made a groove so it can actually sit down. And how I did that was I just simply took my Dremel and I had a cutting wheel like this and I just put a groove into the back of my bit holder. Then that way the lock does catch all these tools to keep them in place on the back. Now, one of the other things that I don't like about the SOG Power Lock is that it does not have a pocket clip. So, of course, I had to add a pocket clip. Now, this experiment did not go near as well as the bit driver. I had several fails and my end result was still uh, not perfect. So what I went ahead and did was I bought the donk pocket clip and I started on this side and I got this really crooked and then I went ahead and tapped it on this side and still got it crooked. So I'm going to leave it for the moment. I again, I found out after I'd already done this, I was using some of the wrong tap sizes and the wrong drill bits. So I do plan to have the right ones on the way. This is the free series pocket clip. Donk makes a version of this that is black. And so this works in the pocket at the moment, but if I ever do it on another multi-tool, I will try to work on lining it up a lot better. But for the moment, it actually works really well. And I was able to put this red uh, Loctite in with the uh, screw handles right here or the uh, screws that thread into the handles and then it really locked it down. So that worked very well. Now, I will have to say that Leatherman's screws are a lot tougher than the ones that come with the Donk Pocket Clip. So, the micro screws that come with the Donk Pocket Clip will strip out a lot easier than Leatherman's screws. So, keep that in mind. As long as you already have it tapped perfectly, it shouldn't be a problem. But if you're like me and you're still trying to figure out the exact tap size and make do, then it will be a big issue. So again, I think I figured out the correct size I need and hopefully on the next one, it will be a lot smoother transition. So now I've got two ugly holes on this side with some other stuff and I've got a great idea of what to do with this. So that will be coming up in a future video and I've got a brand new tool for this that will even make this even better on the way. Pretty excited to share that with you guys. But for now, I have really been enjoying using the pocket clip and having a quarter inch bit driver on a 25 year old multi-tool that sadly needed brought into the present. And I feel like with the mods I'm doing, it will make a huge leap into the future. Now with these, some of these, you can get these fairly cheap online on eBay secondhand. And I think they'll make a pretty good multi-tool for you. My only issue with the power lock is sometimes the lock doesn't seem to always hold. But again, that's you can sometimes almost bend the tools backward and the lock will let go. But I don't know if it does it the other way. So uh, there are piano locks and this is not the piano lock. This is an older system. So you might want to buy a newer power lock, but I really have been enjoying using this. Let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next video.